Hi, welcome to Blender Talks. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use Explode Modifier. I started this tutorial with this default cube and go to the Modifier, Add Modifier, and choose the Explode Modifier. Now animate this. Nothing happened. Not, uh, this cube is not exploded because this is not a procedure to add this Explode Modifier. Close this one first go to this particles tab and add a new particle system and set this emission amount to 100 and set the end frame to 5 now you animate this yeah now this particle emits but the cube is not explode because we are not add the uh, export modifier for that go to the modifier add modifier and now choose the export modifier first we must add the particle system and then we have to add this export modifier <coughs> now you can admit this yeah it's working and what is this emission amount if I set this amount to 1 you got to see what's happened here uh, this cube is not exploded and no particle is exploding why because this amount is how many particles exploding uh, yeah, that is how many particle emits so here have we have the cube this cube act as a single particle if I set this one to this amount to 2 and now see now this cube uh, split as two that is the cube explode as a two parts that is uh, this emits as a two particles now and if I set this one to maybe four and now see what's happened uh, now it's explodes but all the faces are not explode why because this cube has 24 vertices and six faces but I set the emission amount to 4 here uh, the cube face is more than the value I set it. so if I set this here to something 9 now you see what's happened ah, now these all faces are explodes and what is this lifetime next one is this lifetime and if I set this lifetime to 20 now you see what's happened which means mm, you know, the explode um, the emission uh, stops when maybe the 56th uh, if I set this one to 20 means it stops from 26th frames now you can see monitor here and where this stops working yeah now it stops but the uh, frame is moving but this is not animating here you have to see clearly I said that maybe this one to 26th frame yeah this one is 26th frame it stops the life of this particle expires expires at the 26th frame if I said this one to 50 means approximately the life of this particle expires at the 56th frames <coughs> Uh, next one is uh, emit from how this particle is emits from this cube now uh, default uh, uh, if I uh, if you add this particle system means default the emit from is faces and you animate this now this you have to see the particle emits from this faces if I set this one to vertices now you can see how this works it's not looking good um, because here we have 24 vertices I set the value uh, the emission amount to 9 here if I set this one to 100 now you see now you clearly see that all these particle emits from these vertices yeah I had now clearly you can see all these particle emits from this vertices yeah looking good and you can set the random value here if I set this to volume means 
the particle emits from the volumes as can go and you can control the emission of this particle by axis here you have to set the emission to x i set x to 5 now you can see how this works yeah now this emits from this x axis if i set this one if i set y equal to 5 now you see how it works now it emits from x and y if i set is that equal to something 10 and now you see it's yeah how it works yeah you can control the emits of this particle by changing this value x y and z and and the next one is um uh, this cube have only six faces if i add more look at to this cube means you can see how it works now it's have 448 vertices 112 faces now i said this emit from two faces now this amount is less than the total number of faces now you see what's happened here that's looking good but if i set this amount to 500 means yeah now you ha now you can see this one is much better and now uh, the particle emit stops from approximately 26th frames because i set the lifetime to 200 if you want more lifetime means you can increase the lifetime value yeah now it's looking good and yeah this is the basic settings for this export modifier i hope you like this tutorial if you like or not please leave your comment below and you tell what you expect from me uh, yeah thank you for watching my tutorial i see you another one tutorial thank you